was that once they got down that mid lane, Aurelian Soul is locked in. It started to fizzle out once they couldn't continue to break turrets down the mid lane. Support for Darshan available. It's already being channeled here. After a little bit too deep. Tempered Fate is there for the safety, but it's not exactly going to save them right away. Fate's call comes in. It goes out, and they magical journey. They've left the Smithy. Will anybody follow? Darshan in a very bad spot. Who he's trying to route, but he could easily be turned on here. He does get the kill on the bang, however, with the alt. Very nicely done, and they're going to have to flash out, so Faker cannot. Get that stun and grab a kill. Now it's the Bard, you can get that Tempered Fade in. Got a good old rotations coming in here. <laughs> Teleport play coming in soon, I think. Oh, yeah, there we oh. go. Exhaust goes down, Stixay right there. Lambs respite, not used for Stixay. They want it out immediately. It was enough to give the AD carry away. Aphromu is going to go down here as well. The Boomerang fizzles out, but it'll be back. It'll be back. Drink some hot cocoa. You got to go down happy, right? That bomb, I don't like it. Oh, the minions. Faker tells uh, Yoma, <laughs> you, you the bomb. He drops down. You the bomb, I like it, I like it. I mean, these team fights with Echo, Zilli, and Sivir, pretty big. Obviously, we don't know. Ooh, mistake on a spell shield. Bang flashes right behind Wolf. Wolf with a very nice shield to knock up on Smithy. Lamb's respect goes right, right down. And I don't know if this is going to be the kill. Smithy tries to deny vision towards a brush. It's a flash forward from Duke. He's coming on the TP, and it's going to be a cleanup most likely here. Duke hanging out in parallel conversions, gets the shield he just perfectly needs. And now Stixay has actually got here in time. It's been a change in the fight. It was SKT's, but now Connor Logic Gaming has flipped it on its head. They can all follow Hoovy if he goes somewhere crazy. Ooh. And they can all follow Faker if he slowed down. Voice of Light drops him, but Chrono Shift will pick him back up. Hoovy on the other side yep. of it. Tempered Fate is going to split the team a little bit more as they know Darshan's coming up top. There's the Duke Darshan fight, but they're going to try to split off and take down the Squishies. Wow, SKT is just getting routed right now, and their HP bars crushed as Counterlogic Dick Gaming comes back out of the base. Yeah, small communication error there. Everyone was looking for the Temper Fate, but he actually got Fates called. But then he did the right thing. He didn't panic. He just used it to reposition himself yeah. after zoning SKT away. And then he went for Temper Fate, forcing a flash. Another flash skew from Afu that missed a little bit, but CLG unrelenting aggression here, looking to pick up more kills. Darshan flanking on blank, and that should be a dead blank. Ooh. Thinking the collateral damage would have taken him down. The AoE stun from Huhi. So if, if he goes in for a massive play, we'll look at that later. Faker gets bound. Faker, Chrono Shift is up. That's going to be an instant stun. The Shift takes him down. They have a little bit more time to work with it. The bounce is going to be back for the rest of the team. It gives them three members of SKT to fight, and Wolf stays. They didn't have, oh, they did have shoulder wards. They just didn't even pay attention to them. Too deep, though. CLG on the back end of this fight getting turned on. Darshan dropping low. Bombs coming in. Echo goes in. He's out. Darshan gets taken down here. No, he lives. In the end, the bomb doesn't connect. 6A and Xmithy walk those bombs forward, but it's going to be for an Valiant attempt to get more kills. Smithy. Wolf bites down on Blank, who he doesn't have any more chase. And the entire team of SKT limps away after taking down Aframu. Blinking red on all four remaining members of SKT. Ooh. What an incredible back and forth fight, and it highlights the strengths of both both compositions. We'll get into that once we get the replay, because CLT right now, they have the stronger members left. More HP, which means they can actually go for the Baron here. Uncontested. Faker's looking for the TP, though. He's basing right now, but there's no ward close enough. Look Raptor. at it. He's on Raptors. Oh, he is in a rock and a tough spot right now, buddy. He's getting pushed back, and it's going to be SKT. They're trying to file forward. They're trying to save Faker to initiate the fight. Lamb's respite is down, and Smithy is going to go down as a result. That's Blank's kill. Will they move forward? Darshan's the next target. The next target is the turret, because CLG cannot stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with this comp. So SKT looking to equalize this Baron here. A good block by Wolf gives him a little bit of breathing room here on the turret. Blast it back. Who he tries to go with the voice of light, but it doesn't knock them to the outer bounds far enough. And they're still right in his face, ready to take the inhibitor, ready to be the SKT that LCK thought would be bringing to the Six MSI. 6 a trying to go hard and prevent all of that. And it's only going to be one. Blank goes down, but still three members of CLG are waiting to come up, and the inhibitor falls. Here we are in live. Onto Wolf, eh, looking pretty dangerous. A very nice move from Faker. Great team, 
synergy and camaraderie to get his buddy oh, out. Who he very hurt. They're all in Lamb's respite. They're going to get a bit of heal here, but is it enough to stay alive? Who he goes down. Blank's ready to take some out, and he chooses maybe the wrong path, but flashes correctly. And now Darshan gets knocked up. SKT fighting with slivers of health on the backside, trying to get the frontline kills, and Duke Chrono shifts back after some great play, holding off two members of Chronologic Gaming. Yeah, five members enter that fight for CLZ, but only two leave right now, and they're heading down to the mid lane. That's oh. trying to defend it. Teleport comes Faker, in. Faker, Faker, turn. Maker. They turn on him, but it was long enough for Duke to come in with the TP from behind and route Counter Logic Gaming. 50 seconds on Stixay. There may be enough time. 20 on who he is may very well be the game here. One inhibitor remains here in the mid lane. That's going down and two Nexus Towers. It's going to be SKT now inside the base. 32 minutes. Everybody wondered where was the strength? Could it come back? Would it be the revenge game against Counter Logic Gaming? And it is 12 to 7. 60,000 to 56,000 gold. And LCK it. will take the game over NALCS. SKT will continue to put wins in the win column and go for that first place spot.